What is up guys? It's a Wanted Turtle. Uh, today we are doing a Pokemon opening. We are going Charizard hunting once again. We have 10 packs of Unbroken Bonds plus 2 packs of Burning Shadows hunting for all the best Charizards in modern Pokemon trading card game history. Um, but first we have huge news. So just dropped from Poke Beach as always. Um, we got news that essentially in my opinion, my prediction, this will make tag teams obsolete. Uh, come this summer, we have the Tag Team Killer. Um, so let's get into PokeBeach.com, as always, where we find our latest news. All right, so big shout out to Water Pokemon Master for always bringing us the latest and greatest news. And here we have announced Dragonite GX from Miracle Twins. So Miracle Twins is the next Japanese set that will be featured in Unified Minds, set to be, I think it comes out in August. Uh, and so my prediction, this card is going to make tag teams non-viable in the meta, just because how tag teams give reward three prize cards, and this thing can one hit KO basically every, all the best ones at least. And um, it's another Dragonite, and he looks pretty cool. So let's go over it real quick, 250 HP, so remember, this is just a GX, this is not a tag team, so if you knock them out, you only get two prize cards. Um, evolves from Dragon, so you do have to evolve it, uh, you know, throw in some um, rare candy or whatever to bring it from Dratini straight to Dragonite. And its first attack honestly isn't that relevant, even though it sounds not bad, where you just need a water, a lightning, and a colorless energy for 130 damage. Um, however, it is those two different energy types that I'm pretty sure is just going to make this card less relevant. Um, all we need to worry about is Sky Judgment. So. For 5 colorless energy, the most important part of that being all colorless, we have Sky Judgment which does 270 HP. So the big tag teams right now, you know, the uh, Reshi Ram Charizard, the Pikachu, um, Pikachu Zekrom, you know, they all have 270 or less HP. So this thing can one hit KO um, all of those without any assistance. So this thing is absolutely amazing. Discard 3 energy from this Pokemon. That sounds like a big deal. Um, however, the big, the most important thing is this is this colorless energy. So, and this is an evolution Pokemon. So you can just use that triple acceleration energy and you only need to discard one energy card to knock out any Pokemon. Um, and again, if it's that tag team, that's half your prizes right there. And um, so, there's so many, there will be uh, a good amount of ways to accelerate it. You don't have to rely on colorless energies, whether it's DCEs or triple acceleration. Uh, you can use like Malamar, you can use um, Naganadal. Uh, doesn't matter what energy you want to use, there's some flexibility in different ones like Psychic and Fire. So uh, as far as getting that engine to get those three energy so you can discard it, um, there's a lot of flexibility there. And he does have that bailout thing where it's like, oh, you know what, I'm... For whatever reason, uh, I'm playing off the top of the deck and I'm having trouble getting out my supporters to kind of refill my hand. He does have one of those GX attacks that kind of just refills your hands. And Mock Delivery, I think is so far the most flexible one I've heard where while you draw to 10, which there's been cards, I think like some stuff that draw 10 cards straight up. But first you can discard any amount of cards. Um, so ultimately you can really reset your hand back to 10 fresh, up to 10 fresh cards. So, uh, just a really versatile Pokemon. Even though the GX, the GX attack is really just for, um, you know, when you're really stuck. Uh, because in my opinion, like you know, using a turn just to reset your hand is it's not or it's kind of like a that just means you can't do something efficient you can't put out a really strong attack so it's really when you're just really jammed up um however yeah so this card is absolutely amazing can one hit ko basically everything that is relevant right now um so yeah coming this summer my prediction is like this thing will just define the meta and uh you know all those tag team builds they're just gonna go they're gonna become significantly less viable and i feel like i wonder if uh, come the summer, it'll just be, uh, you know, dragons everywhere. <laughs> uh, some like Game of Thrones stuff going on. So uh, that's my prediction, guys. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What do you think about this card? And do you think this will shape the, the meta as much as I'm thinking about that it might? Um, let me know what your thoughts down below in the comment. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump into this opening. Okay guys, let's get into this opening. Uh, however, before we begin, just quick reminder to smash that like button down below. Uh, whether it's because you're excited about this new Dragonite GX in uh, Miracle Twins, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Or you're just excited to see more videos where we are looking for Charizard GX or Charizard with his buddy Reshiram. Um, 
yeah and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below as far as that new card that was just announced yeah i think it's gonna be absolutely amazing um so let's see what we have for our first pack let's see if we can't start off with some absolute fire we have a fighting energy greens exploration nice war turtle passed out gloom spritzy lickitung venonat jigglypuff spiro a reverse venonat again and then we have Ooh, wow that's actually a really good one we have our hyper rare um and we have dedene with the dd i'm not sure if it's the day change like supposed to be like the day or dd change either way this card is absolutely amazing this thing is tapu lele into cynthia all in one card uh which means you can still play a supporter so in case you're not familiar with basically when you play this card from your hand to your bench discard your hand and draw six cards his attacks don't worry about his attacks <laughs> Dedene is for Day Day Change or DD Change. I'm not sure which one it is. All right, absolutely amazing. Wow, that's a. I, I kind of wish we didn't pull that on the first pack. That's a that's a little too strong start. It's hard to follow up that card. Um, all right, right off the bat, boom, we have a hyper rare, and it's an amazing one as well. All right, we have a fighting energy, Metapod. Porygon to oh that was another thing for the back to the Dragon Knight. Uh, the other way to accelerate them is use Porygon Z. You can just keep putting down DCEs, unit energies if you did want to try to use his other other attack, or of course the triple acceleration energy to constantly be spamming that attack, the sky judgment attack. So for our next pack, we have a Meowth and then a Araquanid. Alright, we're kind of we're kind of going all over the place, but let's get into this other pack of burning shadows. Man, still like, can't believe we started things off with the, <laughs> with the Hyper Rare, that's amazing. It's going to be hard to top that, but there's a couple cards in both of these sets that can that can top a Dedene Hyper Rare, believe it or not. We have a Lana, Metapod, Noibat, Cute Little Stuffle, Mudbray, a Tynamo, Oddish, Chillin, in the field, a Persian, and then a Azu Meryl. That is not going to do it. All right, back to Unbroken Bonds. Um, this, yeah, this is definitely my favorite set. I feel like each each uh, new set is like, oh my gosh, this this set is amazing. <laughs> Unbroken Bonds definitely definitely fits that description. And okay, guys, Unified Minds, that that Dragonite, I'm so pumped for it. Um, even though, like, I feel like I was super amped about Muck, and I feel like. Part of me knew, always knew that, that there was a chance that that wouldn't work out. Uh, it just wouldn't be efficient enough. But that that Dragonite, I I'm very. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We got two hyper rares. Koga's trap. That that looks absolutely amazing. Boom. Okay, we have another <laughs> another secret rare in a full art Koga's trap. I feel like people are using this card, although I don't really understand why. He is kind of interesting. Your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon is confused and poisoned, so you can be basically be negating their turn potentially if they try to attack with it. Uh, and you'll be stacking some damage slowly with the poison. But uh, oh my gosh, this is. <laughs> I thought the news that we were talking about is absolutely insane. This opening is even more off the off the charts insane. He got two pulls and they're both secret rares. Koga's Trap. We got Ekans, Drowsy, Pikachu on the boat, a Grubbin, Ghastly, a to Togekiss, and then a Crocodile. Togepi was kind of cute, and then Togetic was like, oh, I feel like you're kind of strange looking. And then Togekiss, things got, <laughs> things got even weirder somehow. <laughs> Interesting species. All right, this is opening is insane. Yeah, guys, hit that like button down below. Two secret rares and a single opening. All right, we got Meowth with his Larvitar plushies, a Geodude, Porygon, Froakie, Aeron, Reverse Diglett with Giovanni, and then a Clef Fable. So oh, both of these hit did come from the same box. So I feel like the chances of getting another one. Oh man, if they weren't l low as it is, like. 
All right, can we get anything in these packs? I'll be stoked for uh, any kind of hit. We have a Giovanni's Exile, Clefairy, Seal, Gligar, Mistrevious, Glammeow, a Wooper Reverse, and then a Crabominable. All right, on to a Mel Metal Lucario pack next. All right, all right. Is there any more, any more luck in this box? I have to think not. After opening a hyper rare and then a full art supporter, we have Cottony, love Cottony, and Whimsicott, Venonat. A reverse is ooh, it is a reverse rare, which is nice. Got that buff Persian, which uh, yeah, you just very interesting art. And then oh my god, the hits keep coming. And we got the full metal wall himself, Lucario Mel Metal. Uh, this is one that I, part of me would like, would would have uh, enjoyed seeing this card being really strong. Uh, however, I just th I think he just comes up a little bit short. That full metal wall, just a very interesting idea, and um, yeah. So another amazing hit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this too. Now that has to be it, right? There's <laughs> there can't be anything else. Unless we just got the God Box. All right, we got a Lightning Energy, Dust Island, Golbat, Tentacruel, Caterpie, Cottony again, Ekans, Carvana, a cute little Faded Litten, Clefairy Reverse, and then, ooh, a Crobat. I'm not sure if I have Crobat for. Let's just check. Severe Poison, uh, put four damage counters. Hmm. Eh. Not bad, but I don't think that's good enough. I do like the idea that it's only... Um, one one triple energy and i love that card and really happy we pulled the secret rare triple energy just because you know stuff like that dragonite gx that that thing's gonna make the dragonite gx plus triple acceleration energy will make tag teams level the playing field between tag teams uh gx's and actually i'm not sure about non-gx anymore with all these such strong cards in the GX realm. We have a Gold D for the reverse, and then a Blacephalon. I see people playing Blacephalon, but I don't think it's that good. All right, we got two packs left. We already got two absolute home runs, and then a very solid hit. Definitely can't ask for any more. Part of me is like, sometimes when you open like right off the bat like insane hits I was like oh man should i save the rest of the packs because like i just can't top this even though we came insanely close all right we got a darumaka glam meow reverse and then a arbuck all right last pack for the opening not that we need it but let's have some last pack magic all right here we go Grass Energy, Koga's Trap again, Dust Island, Piyukukumuku, Ghastly, Gligar, Spritzy, a Doe Duo, Rhyhorn, Oddish, and then a Marowak. Absolutely insane, guys. Um, so that's it for the opening. Definitely hit that like button down below. Uh, if you're not already subbed, make sure you hit that sub button. Yeah, and uh, let me know what your thoughts on this insane opening is, as well as um, Dragonite GX soon to come out in um, Miracle Twins for Japanese and then Unified Minds later on this summer. Uh, it's going to be an exciting summer, and my gosh, what an opening. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. I'm Wana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.